The distinct sound of her car engine and Elton John's tiny dancer on full blast announces Skylar's arrival before I even see her pull into the school lot. She glances casually at the house I'm working on as she gets out of her car, but she doesn't see me way up on the roof. I wonder if the car gave her trouble this morning, because school started over an hour ago. The weather has changed overnight and a cool breeze has chased away the humidity. That might explain the funky, aged brown leather aviator cap and goggles sitting on her head. Two long braids flow from beneath the weird adornment, which somehow actually looks cool on her. Hey, Lucky, Kyle yells from below. Come check out the flooring. Be right there. On my way down the ladder, something catches my attention out of the corner of my eye. It takes me a few seconds to realize that what looks like a pile of clothes thrown on the sidewalk is Skylar. What the? Tossing my hammer onto the ground, I sprint across the lawn and kneel next to her on the sidewalk. Skylar? My blood goes cold when she doesn't stir. She's totally out. Breathing, but out like a light. Hey. I touch her cheek as my heart kicks up its rhythm. Her cute little hat has fallen off, and seeing it lying on the walkway next to her brings a lump to my throat. I nudge her arm. Wake up, Sparkles. Her head turns. Her booted feet twitch. Slowly, her eyes open. She stares through me for a few seconds with boggled eyes until her focus finally returns. What happened? She slurs, blinking. I think you passed out. I help her sit up, but she immediately sways and grabs onto my arm. I don't feel too good. She doesn't look too good, either. Her complexion is stark white. Dark circles shadow her eyes. Yesterday at the park she seemed so vibrant, but today is a totally different story. Did you take anything? I ask. Take what? I don't know. Pills? Scowling, she rubs the side of her head. I don't do drugs, Jude. Did you hit your head? Maybe. I feel dizzy. Her eyes close and her fingers grip my arm tighter as if she's about to pass out again. I'm going to take you to the emergency room. She shakes her head. No, 